afternoon, South Africa, and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Jeannie D, and thank you for joining us on Afternoon Express. Now, I go away for one week, and upon my return, the whole country is in chaos. So everybody is standing by awaiting the fate of our nation, as all of the powers that be are in Parliament for the vote of no confidence. So hopefully we'll be able to keep you posted and let you know what is happening throughout the day. But it is Tuesday, which means it is a fantastic cook along and we've got a sensational guest in the loft and of course amazing amazing dishes to cook with so we do want you to join us all you need to do is give us a call on 021 430 oh, and of course on social media tag us on hashtag afternoon express so Clem hey. what are we cooking today it's gonna be such an eventful cooking show today we're doing yeah. three dishes Oh it's like boy. almost never been done, I think. No pressure, but what are we making? Yeah. I mean, am I skilled enough for this? You totally are. We're going to do an amazing power green smoothie. Delicious. And then a steak salad. Oh, even better. And then a panzanella salad. What on earth is pantanella? You're going to find out. <laughs> All right, well, join us if you want to know what pantanella is as well. And uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be completely delicious. And we would love you at home to cook along with us. Now, our special guest for today's cook along has not only shown her prowess on screen, starring in shows like Rhythm City, Backstage, and the classic Sopium Zanzi on SABC One, but she's also an accomplished jazz singer. And through all of this, She's also been in the food industry for 10 years as a self-taught chef. It's Lucia Mitiane. Doing that Miriam Makeba strike mm. there. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a shimmer there. Absolutely. Well, welcome to the loft. Lovely to have you, Lucia. Thank you for having me. Awesome. So you grew up in a very artistic and creative home. Absolutely. Your mother played the your grandmother played the piano and your brother was a playwright, and you guys would then go and perform the plays at school. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me how growing up in an environment like that influenced you. Um it absolutely influenced me in all possible ways because all we did on Sundays especially would be cook, cooking and singing and my sister would be playing piano there wow. my, um, and then uh, my brother playing a guitar and we'll sing and we'll invite all the cousins to just, just that just kind of nice house yeah and mm, mm. but although the, the, your love for performing for the performing arts was beating inside you still went and became a teacher for I was dragged years. you were dragged <laughs> by who I was my mother oh, she at was least like, you made her happy yeah, right. I did. <laughs> and I actually loved it. I couldn't believe that How I actually loved it. How did you find teaching? Were you a strict teacher? Uh, no, not really. Yeah? Yeah, because I was very young as well. I was the youngest teacher at school. And the oh, kids so the always used to write you letters. Mm, say, the one boy said to me, you know, ma'am, uh, I have a brother who drives a red BMW. I'm thinking, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then. So I, I really enjoyed it. I That's did. awesome. Mm. You know, when I first saw you perform on stage was in Girl Talk. Oh. And you were so feisty, so sassy, you had so much energy. Absolutely. I mean, and that, that ran for quite a while. And it opened and a lot of doors. Yes, yes. You traveled, yes. You traveled everywhere. Just mm. tell me about the journey. First of all, how did you get in? I auditioned like everybody right. else. So, yeah. from teaching, you thought, okay, this is it. I'm going to go and do the thing that I love to do. That I've always wanted to right. do. Yeah. So, I had to get an agent. Somebody said to me, Lucia, you have to get an agent if you want to, if you want to be serious right. about this entertainment industry. So, I got Munin Lee. Um, yes. That was my first gig, actually. Was Munin your first agent? Yes, yeah, my Isn't first agent ever. Yeah. I didn't even know I had to have an agent to do all of this. Right. Yeah, so I learned a lot. So that was your first gig. You get in and mm. you travel. How rigorous was it? I mean, it was like every night. Except Mondays. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I remember I only got, like, not sick once, but I had a, a something happened, the, a nerve, and then the show, well, there was no show for the first time in 13 months, just one night. Whoa. But like every night we used to perform and Mondays, we were only off on Mondays. We even came to, we, we, we did Cape Town and we did Joburg for like nine months mm -hmm, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. What was it about performing for a live audience that you loved Ooh. most? There's just something about that 
immediate, um, you know, people Instant are engaged. Reaction. Yes, yes, yes. And you can look into someone's eyes when you're singing a love song and they think that you're you're falling you in love with them. them. Yes, absolutely, because it's immediate. So it's just and the energy is just transmitting all the time. Absolutely. That's absolutely incredible. Mm. And then audiences fell in love with you on television, on backstage. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That smirk. Mm. I remember you there. Spice, <laughs> spice, shade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Backstage was was quite a phenomenal Backsta show. It, it was. was. Yeah, it was big for its time, it and was. it broke a lot of barriers. What was your Absolutely. experience of backstage? Uh, you know, I was still new in the industry mm -hmm. at that particular time, but I learned a lot. I mean, I didn't even know that you have to block a scene, and then you must, you know, be sensitive to cameras. You know, you cannot just move any way you want. You know, you yeah, multicam. Yes, multicam uh, kind of thing, and then. Uh, you just have to tone down your performance. You know, it's not like stage not where you stage. are yeah, bigger than life. Jazz so hands. everything must be down here. Yeah. But I see a lot of actors who, who, who come from who the theater background. <laughs> <laughs> they still think they're in theater. So like, oh, come down. The director will only have to tell Absolutely, them. Absolutely, yeah. Some actors just do the same thing. They yeah, do on stage, absolutely. on camera, mm. and they announce their lines. <laughs> and then oh, yeah. and then you, South Africa fell in love with you as well as Delhi were in Zansi. Ooh. And I bet you people still call you Delhi oh, you know what? Is that the character we they get call called you characters. the most? Yeah, but it's a, it's it, it's actually older than Rhythm City, um, Zanzi, yes. the Deliwa character. But yes. they still remember me by that. I'm thinking, oh, I even forget sometimes that I was Deliwa. I'm like, why is this person calling, calling me Deliwa? Like, oh, yeah. oh <laughs> yes, and of yeah. course Rhythm City. Absolutely, Rhythm City was like for three years, I think. For three years. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm still Rachel Pagat. <laughs> so Rachel Pagat. <laughs> <laughs> and underneath all of this was brewing your love for cooking. Absolutely. And you were always cooking. I'd hear like stories about your cooking and your dinners and your lunches and I was always always, mm. always hoping to get invited. Hey, <laughs> you know what? I'll cook for you, don't worry. I'll fly, just come and cook for you. Absolutely. Anyway. Now, well, we're going to hear a lot more about your cooking when yes. we cook in the kitchen later. Absolutely. But what is the one thing that you've learned in this ever-changing, unpredictable industry of ours? Sure, a lot. I've, just, I've actually learned that... Um, if you take your craft seriously, there's lots of beautiful fruits. But if you don't, you know, you just have to be serious and treat it as business. Entertainment, I know people, we entertain people, but if you, as an artist, you treat the craft as business, you will succeed, definitely. Well, absolutely. I've also heard that you treat a steak like business, so you're going to show us a <laughs> bit of that in the kitchen shortly. <laughs> All right, what an absolutely fantastic interview. Now, with Winner Home in full swing on Afternoon Express every Friday, our competing design duos are catching everyone's attention. If you'd like to meet them, then come to Decorex Joburg and 100% Design South Africa this coming Friday and Saturday, where they will make the following appearances. Friday, the 11th of August at Decorex Joburg at the Gourmet Cooking Theatre in Hall 2 at 1.30 p.m. And then again on Saturday, the 12th of August at 100% Design South Africa at the Media Lounge in Hall 1, also at 1.30 p.m., um, and it's all at the Gallagher Convention Centre. If you live in Joburg, you could also win access tickets, so simply SMS the keyword WIN, followed by your name and city, to 33650 for your chance to win one of 40 double-entry tickets to the Expo for you and a friend to enjoy. So SMS is con cost one round 50 each, and T's and C's apply, and can be found on our website. Be sure not to miss out on this chance to meet the Winner Home Design Duos and be inspired. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. SA's favourite interior design reality competition, Winner Home, sees three design duos transform empty spaces into lavish homes. And one of them could be yours. To enter, visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favourite design duo. Put yourself in line to win amazing prizes in the bi-weekly draw and automatically be entered for a chance to win the grand prize. Your choice of one of three fully designed homes in the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate in the south of Joburg. The finished property will include luxurious finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone as well as premier home appliances by Grunding with a total prize value of more than 3 million rand. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Watch the breathtaking properties come to life as the design drama unfolds 
and stand a chance to win the biggest prize on South African television, your very own dream home. Oh, now wouldn't a brand new home be the perfect place to cook along with us on Afternoon Express? So you have better get entering. Stay tuned because our cook along with Lucian Tiani is coming up a little bit later. Now we all know that milk is, is an essential source of calcium. But Clover, one of SA's best loved dairy brands, has brought out a new product that takes milk to the next level. More on that after the break. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now with kiwi, apple and spinach, today's smoothie recipe is nothing short of nutritious. Now with the added help of Clover Care's nurturing milk, we've just made it hashtag way better with hashtag Woman's Day coming up. Now Clover wants to know from you at home, who is the nurturer in your life? Go to the Afternoon Express Facebook page and leave your comment. Clem, who's the nurturer in your life? I think it's obvious to say it's my mother. Yes. But she was very smart. She kind of raised me to be a nurturer as well. So I'm super independent. Oh, so mom, he just took the answer out of my mouth. That's exactly what I was going <laughs> to say to you. <laughs> so thank you to her. Absolutely. Who's the nurturer oh. in your life? Vanilla ice. No, I'm joking. My mom, of course, obviously. <laughs> and I've got two amazing grandmothers. I'm so lucky. There's two of them, and they're absolute goddesses. And they are the nurturers in my life. Love you, grannies. I don't have a grandma anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, you, my one grandmother, actually, my Portuguese grandmother, I call her Va, loves you. Great. I think it's because she thinks you're Portuguese. So she every can adopt time, me, fine. Yeah, Every time she asks about you, she goes, and how's Pedro? <laughs> okay, when you meet your grand. So awesome. she loves you. Okay, how do we get started with del this d deliciousness? Right okay, so we can, we, we're going to leave the vanilla ice for a bit and tell you about that. Okay. So we've got some beautiful baby spinach yes. in our blender. I like using baby spinach. It's not as tough as Swiss chard, so it breaks up nice and easily. Okay. You don't want to end up with like spinach between your teeth. No, no not that today. That. So that's going to go in there. And then I've got some beautiful kiwi. Kiwi is very high in vitamin C. Yes. So right now you should be eating it. Yes, it's Great. the only kiwis that us rugby fans appreciate in this country. So true, so true. <laughs> so I'm just going to split it down the middle. And I kind of just like going through the skin. Oh, I'm fascinated by this to see how you cut it without the skin. Oh, you know what? I actually like the method of using the spoon as well. So there we got the one piece of kiwi. Okay. The other one is where you take the spoon. You take the, the big spoon and I'll take the little spoon. Well, let's try it, yeah. <laughs> 
Should I try? Yeah, let me just get this out the way. And you kind of want to get the spoon in between the skin and the flesh and you just like turn it out. Yeah, no, this isn't working. If it's me. nice and ripe, it comes out easy, just oh, like wait. this. You see now. How are you doing? Yeah, this isn't really working <laughs> for me. <laughs> I got mine out. I think the trick is maybe using the big spoon. You know what? The big spoon. So that's... No, look at that. Oh, you got it. Well, no, I can't. If I oh, look at mine. Okay, mine's come out as well. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm going to pop the kiwi in there. <laughs> All right, and if you too you would love that. all the details for the sensational recipe, all you need to do is SMS the keyword CLOVER to double three six five zero, And all of the information will be sent to you because this is, I mean, summer's coming and this looks healthy and tasty. And um, I'm really making a mess out of this. So I'm going to have to take the knife. Yeah, you go, there you go, you can have the knife. Uh, talking about healthy and nutritious, so we're using clover care milk today, which has been fortified with beautiful nutrients and it's delicious. It's actually my favorite tasting milk oh, ever. Oh, yum. It's okay, so that's good and so delicious. So you've got that in there. Yes. And you did add some vanilla paste. You can vanilla have that paste? Smell. Yeah. That's interesting. I've never even heard about it, but it smells lovely. It smells delicious. So clover care is going in there. Like I said, it's got the added nutrients in there. Yeah. Combined with our delicious fruits and vegetables already. So it is packed full of goodness. I mean, just understanding your combination that you've got in here, I already know what it's going to taste like and it's going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. I was going to say you just needed to add mint and you've already got it. Yeah, got it. You can because just, just check that in. Mint How about and you do that? kiwi really do complement really each do other. They really do so well together. So good. So Clovis found that the South African diet, on average, lacks so many nutrients. So that's like the strongest reason for Clover Care, oh, is and the strongest true? reason for the smoothie right here. Because kids, let's just be honest, you can't really get them just chow down on spinach, but in the smoothie they will go for it. Like you have no idea. Yeah. So well, all of my friends that are mothers always say that they've got to disguise vegetables in different types of, fa of tasty food so that their kids will actually eat it. But now this is a great way to actually hide all the nutrients and vitamins, and then your child will think that they're getting a delicious green milkshake. Exactly. <laughs> so what I've got over here this is my little hack. These little pillows of delicious like milky goodness. Yeah. It's the actual clover care milk that are frozen. So I don't like ever adding ice or water to my smoothies because when the ice melts it becomes water and just dilutes the flavor so instead if you just freeze the milk you got more of the flavor it's in there and you want to add vanilla to it to make vanilla ice vanilla there we go all right stop okay collaborate and listen i said that could have been the invention okay must have thrown it all in you before can. you can go i for actually it. know the words to that whole song by you the do way. i don't i, I don't do know. it's kind of my party trick <laughs> cool so let's blend it all up okay I get so excited when this happens and then Me I get too. even more excited to drink it. Okay, but now yours over there has turned out a little bit greener, so you just added in more spinach. And actually what you want to do is also let the machine go for a little longer and okay. break up all that spinach, break up all that mint. It's going to intensify the flavor as well. Okay, and I can't wait anymore. Go for it. It's nice and frozen. That's the most important thing. Smoothie should always be cold and delicious. That is so worth it. That is so worth it. Oh, I'm keeping this. This is my lunch today. Absolutely delicious. Trust me, SMS keyword clover to 33650. And this is going to be your new go to. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Introducing Clover Care, the first enriched milk packed with nutrients to help you take extra care of your whole family. Made with love by Clover. We're a day away from celebrating Women's Day and from the 16th to the 17th of August, the annual Top Women Conference will bring together a host of iconic leaders to drive discussions around gender empowerment in business and to stand a chance to network and rub shoulders with thought leaders and captains of industry. Simply SMS the keyword Top Women followed by your email address to 33650 and you could win two all access passes to the conference. SMSs are charged at 1 rand 50 per SMS and no free SMSs apply. T's and C's can be found on the Afternoon Express website. For more information on this fantastic event, visit www.topwomen.co.za. Now, speaking of inspirational women, our cook along with Lucia Mtiane starts after the break, so stay right where you are.
back to Afternoon Express. If you've just joined us, good timing because we're just about to get started with our sensational Tuesday cook-along with our fantastic guest, Lucia Mattiani. So, no pressure, but <laughs> you're really, really good at teaching people how to cook. I, I am because I, I run cooking classes. I can't. Oh, you should come to my classes. Yes. Well, I need yes. to come to your class. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you what inspired the thought? Because you taught yourself how to cook yes. and then... What made you think, hmm, I'm actually quite good at this, let me go and teach other people to I do. actually did not think I was quite good at this. Yeah. I must teach other people, but <laughs> if my friends that I used to entertain, every, well, I still do, and they don't do the dishes. Yeah, so they no, said... No, so, so cook can't do their own dishes. That's <laughs> know, serious. Right? Tell your friends, no. <laughs> they said, Lucia, you are very good at this. We yeah. love your food, and I'm sure people out there would enjoy your food. Just do cooking classes. And I started, yeah. I remember my first cooking class had 12 people. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah, and they yeah. paid 550 each. And what did you teach? That was 10 years ago, guys. So what are the basics? Like, what is the, the basics of cooking that you would teach me if I came to your class? Love. Love. Number one, that's love. Touch your food. I've gotten a lot of love in my kitchen and nothing had to do with food. I'm <laughs> sure. I think you just, just love to eat. I huh? just love yeah. to eat. Okay, so love. And then there's just basic things. Like, for instance, when you're cooking a steak, you must not pour oil in, in the griddle or in the, in the pan. Yeah. yeah. Let it let, hit it. And then you... You take the oil and you brush the steak with oil. And then oil. don't you massage it with your hands so that the, the it's steak It's very is... important. Yeah, you're right. It's very important <laughs> yeah. to touch your food. Yeah. Love your food. That's why I must it. wash love your hands. Steak. Well, I love a good steak. Mm. And the keyword for this recipe is steak. SMS that keyword to double three six five zero, And there you'll get a link to the recipe and the list of ingredients. And any tips that you have or any questions you have for our beautiful guest, Lucia, please call us on 021-430-9881. Hashtag Afternoon Express. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Should we get started? Let's yes. get cooking. Can I please have the oil? Of course Claire. you can. There you go. So I like to use vegetable oil simply because it does not burn like olive oil. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, so this is vegetable oil. So what you do is you brush your, your steak yeah. nice and be generous. Okay, so while you're brushing the steak with that, what mm -hmm. are we making on this side? So then, after, mm -hmm. after we've done this beautiful salad now with the steak, when we come back, we're going to do a pantanella salad which is a yes. kind of developed out of leftover yes. bread. So we're going to do that in a bit. So the bread is nice and stale ciabatta, nice and stale because that's what you need to suck up all that beautiful marinade, oh, wow. and that's going to get charred. I can't wait to see uh, what a pentanella too. is and why we're marinating the bread. Well, to add all that, that amazing flavor, that one has to be day-old bread. Also, it's not going to suck up all that marinade. That's wow. what you want. Sounds absolutely mm. dis delicious. And the key word for this recipe is bread. SMS that keyword to double three six five zero. No free SMSs apply. Okay, yeah. okay now good, check good, this good. hot piece of meat. Go. And look what she's going to do with the steak. Mm. Listen um, to that. She and just rubbed salt and pepper, salt and, pepper and vegetable, and vegetable yes. oil. Mm. And you don't touch it. I know that you'll be tempted to turn it around. Yeah. For three minutes because you want it to be medium. Medium rare. So medium rare. I don't know. Do you like blue steak? Do you like uh, medium rare? Do you well, like I medium? like medium rare. Exactly. Me too. She's the one. Yeah. Why kill the cow when it's already dead? Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> while we wait for this, I would like you to... Yes, Chef. Oh, no, no, no. Like, we cut the, the tomatoes. Tomatoes. The right. tomatoes. Tomatoes, yes. And then how do you want that done? Uh, just like half. Cool. So I'm going to give you the tomatoes. So I'm just going to cut them in half. Mm -hmm. yes. And I'll take the pepper. out. So I like that you mentioned that you actually added the oil to the steak and not to the pan. Because it's very true, especially with the griddle pan, if you mm -hmm. add oil to the griddle pan, all the oil oh. just sinks to the bottom of the griddle pan. Mm. It doesn't even touch the steak. Yes. It just ends up burning. Absolutely. And you don't oh. yeah. not crowd your steak. One steak at a time. I know yeah. sometimes you are rushing, but just one steak because otherwise, you know what happens? It stews. Mm -hmm. So now you just see water all over yeah. and then it curls. Uh, okay, That's but the then how do you curl. serve it all at the same time if you're cooking one after the next? Hey, it's very tricky, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, because I it's like to tricky. entertain it. I'm not a good cook, but mm. I really like to entertain. Yeah. So if I had to make a steak like this, yeah. which is, you know, ideally you'd want mm. to do one at a time, yes. serve it, but then how does everyone then get to eat at the same time? Or do I just need to get a bigger kitchen? Or <laughs> 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 one giant more steak. Or maybe yeah. that's when you kind of Slice it into strips. Yeah, right? and you want it to rest. So you take oh yeah. Okay. So you take one the first steak and you, you rest it and then you put the second one. Okay. And then, and then you don't slam the first one down after you've done the fourth one just for a little warmer. No, 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 no. You don't. <laughs> okay. And you know what? If some people like well done, you you don't have to do well done on the pan. You can do it in, in, in the oven. So oh. that you can continue with the cooking. But you know when you have a, when you are doing steak, 
for like 10 people. You cannot be doing it on your own. No. You need to have two or three chefs. Am I right? You, that's right. So you divide yeah. the work. And then uh, what type of steak is this? We got a beautiful ribeye today. And I'm happy that you asked because yeah. you get so many different types of steak. You get the fillet, you get the rump, you get the ribeye. Ribeye is nice because it's got yeah, a nice... Sirloin. Exactly. The ribeye is good because it's got that nice um, ratio between meat and fat. Yes. And we agree because we like yes. that fat in we the like meat. Because the, huh? fat. the fat is all the flavor as well. So this is a salad. And normally we say salad is like, uh, it's going to be lettuce, tomato and some onion. Yeah. This is what a salad is supposed to be. Full of flavor. Have a hero like the steak like this. And that fat in that steak is going to make... The absolute hero out of the salad. Clem, you're going to be so proud of me. And I think for everybody cooking at home with us, this is such an important message to learn and to be aware of when you're cooking, as if I'm an expert. Basically, what I learned now is even if you make the most basic dishes, even if you're just serving somebody a salad, lettuce with tomato, if your produce is good, if the quality of what you're eating is good, you can just add like very little to it mm. and it'll be delicious. Absolutely. Yeah. I love fresh ingredients. I know, how proud of you. Guys, we are not working. We know I'm not I'm not happy with you. You are not working. Why are you just standing there? I'm sorry, you're not talking. Yeah. Okay, okay, back to it, back to it. Yes, chef, yes, chef. So how yes, would you like please. your avo done? Like nice slices, cubes? Yeah. Slice it nicely, little cubes. All right. Mm -hmm. Again with the spooning action. But you know what the trick is to do yeah. cherry tomatoes? You take two sauce sauce. A saucepan, not saucepan. Saucepan, yeah. A yeah. sauce, a saucer. Saucer, saucer. 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 You, you put a them piring, in between. Piring. Yes, and then you just cut. So that you don't do one by one. You need oh. a very sharp you, knife. Yes, yes, yes. you must try that at home. There we go. So oh, you, okay. I am so tempted to turn this over. You know what I, no, take over, do your thing. Oh, you mm. want to turn it over? Yes. Can I please have that? Yeah, with pleasure. Do you know what I really like, Clem, is a chopped salad. You know when all the ingredients are chopped very finely, mm -hmm. so that each bite tastes completely different. That's and you really taste the whole oh, yeah. salad at the same oh, time, right? Mm. I die. That is my favorite. All right, so let's turn this over. Oh, I'm very excited to see Look the other side. Look how tempted you are. You're literally salivating. I know. Ooh, I can see oh, the lines on that it steak. Oh, beautiful. Wow. wow. All right, I mean, how's the reaction? That's when you know that you've got a real good cook in the house. <laughs> when everybody kind of, ooh, ah. <laughs> good so job. Like I love that sound of that steak. Oh, I love it too. So now, they, the, the brown color showing that it's, it's cooking. Yeah. And then now we've turned it over. And then the two colors are going to meet in the middle. Later on, you'll see. Uh, that's when you know it's ready because that's when it's going to be pink when you cut it. Yeah. Okay, wow, yeah. mm -hmm. wow. I mean, well, you, you really appreciate a steak. I love a good steak. So when, like, like a good what is steak. The, the traditionally the best way to eat it? Medium or medium rare? I don't know. Well, that is a big test. Medium or medium rare? Yeah. That's medium it. or medium rare? Medium or medium rare. Blue steak? Yeah. Blue steak when it's like raw. So yeah. I feel a friend of mine yeah. likes it like rare. You like, like rain? Yeah. I mean, I don't, so... We're, we're, we're going to take a short break just now uh -huh. um, just to keep frying the steak and also to just check what's going on in the country out there. <laughs> but can true. we just summarise sure. what we've done in this section? OK, so we've got that steak cooking away beautifully. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on there for another minute. It's going to start resting. We're going to put mm -hmm. it covered with some foil, let it rest. Right. I'm going to take the, the pops out of these olives and just chop, chop them like a little roughly. Yeah. But in the meantime, at home, Whack your oven onto like 230 degrees. Get it ready for that bread. Okay, so steak's good, veggies are good. Get your oven on. We'll see you in a bit. See you shortly. Don't go away. <laughs> this is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. SA's favorite interior design reality competition, Winner Home, sees three design duos transform empty spaces into lavish homes. And one of them could be yours. To enter, visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. Put yourself in line to win amazing prizes in the bi-weekly draw and automatically be entered for a chance to win the grand prize, your choice of one of three fully designed homes in the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate in the south of Joburg. The finished property will include luxurious finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone, as well as premier home appliances by Grundig with a total prize value of more than 3 million rand. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Watch the breathtaking properties come to life as the design drama unfolds and stand a chance to win the biggest prize on South African television, your very own dream home.
to Afternoon Express and thank you for joining us on our Tuesday cook along. Now today's recipe is a delicious steak salad. How do you like your steak done? One, rare like sushi. Two, juicy and slightly rare. Or three, as close to charcoal as possible. Go to our Facebook page and comment or call us on 021 Four three zero nine double eight one. Are you confident in our steaks? Oh, no or not confident confidence. in our steaks? Let us know. Well, this steak will not be recalled. It's looking amazing. It's yeah. so good. I have confidence in this steak. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. So, what's the next step with the steak? Because it's looking so good. Okay, guys, it's almost cooked. I'm like, please, can we get it off? I'm just so scared. No, we're going to really lose all that red. So right now, I'm going to some of that I'm going to put it over. Oh, oh garlic. look at you. You're almost Portuguese. And you then just slam so much garlic on the <laughs> <laughs> I love garlic. And then we do this. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Ooh. Yeah. fierce. I need more uh, rosemary, please. With pleasure. Jimmy. You've just made me fall in love with you the way I saw you use that this garlic. That looks so beautiful. <laughs> I I'm not, not kissing anyone. I've got fun. such FOMO. I need a griddle in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Bae, I know you're watching. Get me a griddle. Okay. Life without a griddle, a griddle is not baby. Bae, if you want your life to continue to sizzle, get yourself a griddle. <laughs> Insane. All right. Oh, funny. Okay. Kill me. It's your puzzle. Oh, Let's wow. rest it. There's nothing I hate more than ordering a steak at a restaurant and then it comes and it's bleeding. Yeah. Uh -huh. You don't want that. Sure. It's not a good look. You must rest. just need it to rest. <laughs> you must rest your steak. So that's what we are doing right now. Oh, wow. But now the smell, the, the, the mm. rosemary is going to just... Infuse it and, and your, all of that yes, stuff. Yes, the flavor is going to be amazing. And then so, what songs do you usually sing when you cook? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. I never, never, never want to be in love with anyone but you. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so oh, pata, pata, actually. Pata, pata, because pata, you can just like, pata. you know. So what does patla, patla mean? <laughs> pata, pata. I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> pata, pata. It's like this. It means this, Jeannie. It means touch, touch. Yeah, but you touch your partner. You don't touch yourself. You're like, you <laughs> Sweetheart, at the moment, I'm only touching myself. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> pata, okay, pata, no so confidence. Okay, <laughs> back, to the cooking, back to the cooking, back to the cooking. Okay, so what I've done is I've just sliced up some red pepper. Seeing as you're on the griddle pan, yes. can I ask cool. you to blacken some red peppers for me? We can do that. Yeah, cool. Yes. I can just pass it a bun. You make a pass it on for me. And then, uh, skin down or flesh down? Uh, first? Skin side down, yeah. yeah. Skin That's side. A chart. And then I've got a beautiful ciabatta over here. So mm. you know in some cultures, it's actually seen as offensive to cut bread. What? You gotta like break it gotta with your hands. It. Definitely. Uh, Don't ever take a knife to bread. The, so, Jeannie, there you go. Ooh, you do your thing and you break bread. it up. To bread. It actually is a sign of peace. There you go. So nice and chunky. I like my piece nice and chunky. Yeah, of course. So, so you need to go. What must I throw Claire, it in? What must I throw it in? What must I throw it in? Are we throwing it in here? Yeah, but you can keep it in the side so like, you can break that in half. Is that chunky like, so a little, no. little more chunkier than I was. So, Claire, well, well, maybe you've had a bit of a fight with your, your friend and you want to look at one piece. You just. <laughs> come, 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 let's break bread. Just break bread. bread. I like yes. that, I like that. I also like that. That's what food's like. It's supposed to be like a gathering of people and like sharing and full of emotions. Mm -hmm. I think so, I think so. I need you to be more specific. How are these sizes? A like in half. I like that. Just okay. a little less chunky. So like, half looking for like this. I love bread. Do you love bread? She love bread. Bread. Can we just discuss how much we love bread? I <laughs> like, I bread. wish I didn't love bread as no. much as I do. Is I can't for bread. Oh, I love what? bread, yeah, but no, I try to avoid it. it. You can't. I can't afford it. You can't afford bread. I can't afford bread. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford bread. bread. <laughs> I love bread, but I try to avoid it as oh. much as I can. All right. I just like my I like my carbs hidden. I just don't want to know that I'm just stuffing my face with carbs. <laughs> no, right. I love my <laughs> carbs. But Sundays, guys? Sundays are supposed to be like binging. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what I've got in the bowl here. I've got some red wine vinegar. Some mixed Italian herbs, some garlic, and some chili, and I'm just adding some olive oil. And now all Jeannie's beautiful bread's gonna go in there, oh, and wow. you're gonna toss it up in there and get it all marinated. And as soon as that's done, you're gonna pop it in the tray, and we're gonna whack it under the grill, get it nice and toasty. You use your hands so I'm just for this putting part. It in. Yeah. Chuck it in. What you wanna nice. do? Oh, I'll, I'll do that for you. I'll do the tossing. What you want is you wanna get the bread really coated in the marinade. 
And this is why you use day-old bread. I like it when you do that. I absolutely love this. This is such a vibey Mediterranean way of cooking. Mm -hmm. Using yeah. your hands, oh. eating with your hands. And the key word for this is bread. So SMS your keyword to double three six five zero. And please, we'll send you all of the details that you need, the ingredients, the shopping list. But contact us and let us know how your recipe is going and if it's just as tasty as what ours are. We love to touch the food we in the kitchen. Okay, the here there we go. Are. You can touch that in. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Don't we need more oil and... You can get more oil up in there. So more oil goes in. Oh, this is the best. This is going to be so delicious. Because you can actually feel the love that we're making this with. Can't you? But I'm feeling it in here so today. So, Clem, yeah, you know, absolutely. Clement, you know, um, I love bread, but I don't love it that much. Such that I would buy a loaf of bread, it will last for two weeks. Yes. And usually I would put it in the, in the micro... Not micro... In the, in the fridge. fridge. Yeah, in, in the, the freezer. freezer in the and freezer. keep it there. That's true, because it lasts forever in the freezer. Yes. yes. Absolutely. I've got kids, so there's always got to be bread in the house. Always. So what if you've got bread and now it's been... Maybe you forgot to put it in the freezer and it's just sitting in the bread Stale. bin? You mean it's green? Before, before it gets green. What can you do with the bread before it gets there? I love blitzing it up. Well, yeah. Obviously, when it goes nice and hard, I like blitzing it up. And then using it as oh, breadcrumbs, well and you can also free bread crumbs, freeze breadcrumbs, freeze breadcrumbs, which is oh. really great. Oh, is it? Oh, you're talking really? something. Yeah. And then can you use them as those, what's it called, planko or something, to like do tempura thingies Yes, with? if you want to braid them, absolutely. Mm. So Look at me turning into a shit. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, so I've got, <laughs> got our bread in the oven now. I just want to do the same thing. The reason I'm actually charring the peppers is because the peppers have a lot of sugar in them. You want to caramelize it's like to bring out that natural flavor in the pepper. Uh -huh. I want to do the same thing with the, with the zucchini. So, Barney, if you can give me a nice thin ribbons, and we can actually pop that on the... Thin. Doesn't have to be thin. Bond's got some serious ninja skills, so she was even like, how thin do you want it? How thin do you want it? So you can do it, like, uh, let's see. How does Bay feel that you're so good with a knife, Bonnie? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> All right, so that's cool. That's a nice thickness. I like that. Do you so like that? We're gonna keep and then, on doing and that. then into strips again. Do you want more strips now? You're going to keep on going. No, this is fine. That's, that's all I need. Fine. I'm going to turn up the griddle pan a little bit. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Can I teach you something about peppers? Please do. All right, so there's red, red peppers, there's uh, yellow green. peppers, and there's green in this country. That's what, but there's lots, there's lots of yeah. different types of peppers. Do you know that one is green? It's because it's, it, it, it's still raw. Really? And then later so. on, it's going to turn red. So do all oh, peppers yellow. start they start off green. green? Yes. And, and the longer you keep them, they change color? They change color. So, so that's why they are cheaper, the green ones. Because oh, they, yeah. they, 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 so they is it green, earlier. yellow, red, like a road, like a traffic light? There yes. Go. Oh, but there's more, like, there's more colors, glam, isn't it? They're, yeah, there's like little in between the colors. Yeah. I've yeah. Seen. But that's very so, true. They all start off as green, which is really, really interesting. So this pepper used to be green. Yes, yeah, like we see there. That's so true. You can and see the bit of green all in there. Yes. I'm gonna grab another knife real quick. And they're yeah. sweeter when yeah. they're How do I not know this? <laughs> what kind of education did I receive? I blame him. <laughs> 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 All right, so while you got, so Bon, we can add those peppers straight to the griddle pan right now. So we've got our bread in the oven that's going to start toasting. I can actually smell it already. Peppers are roasting away. We're going to start roasting off our <gasps> marrows. I'm going to start squeezing these tomatoes, getting some juice out for our dressing. So when we come back, we'll be able to plate up these two salads. Yes. I am hungry. That was oh, incredible. Look at that steak. It is so good looking. And then what am I doing with these ma marrows? Straight into the griddle pan. Into the and griddle. they're going to start grinding as well. Now. Yeah. Okay. So when we come back, we'll be able to plate up these two salads. I stopped eating meat four months ago. I will be cheating <laughs> on that diet today. Yeah. No. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> wow, how amazing.
welcome back to our fabulous, exciting kitchen, the best kitchen in the land on Afternoon Express. And joining us today is the gorgeous Lucia Mtiani, and she's made a wild steak. Mm. Yeah, guys. Cool. All right. The whole nation saw us cooking the steak. Yeah. yeah. After this, guys, I don't want to be hearing, I want my steak well done. I will always, I'll, I'll be everywhere in the whole country. No one's going to have a well-done steak from now on. I taught you how to do this. I've got right. confidence in your steaks. <laughs> You're going to help me, darling, hey? Yes. To plate. Yeah, what do you so, need? But I want it to look very pretty. Mm, because okay, I always say I eat with my eyes. I want the food to, to land on the plate, not to okay. crash land. So are you giving me creative freedom? Yes. So you no, have no, to no, do not. You have to okay, do the bay leaves. Do you, bay you have leaves, to do bay yeah. leaves? No, yeah. but let's do, let's do it in the middle. Yeah. Well, I was going to... Let's make it modern, yeah. Please do some bay leaves. I don't uh, know what you're talking about. Leaves. About. How about this? Oh, it's just rock I'm cakes. like looking and I'm going, there's no bay leaf here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so after that, we throw in. Um, yeah. Tomatoes. Okay. Oh, no, tomatoes. don't worry. I've got it. I'm getting so creative here for you. Yeah. The I food mean, must mm. always look good. I eat with my eyes. I agree. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And then I eat with my mouth and then it ends up on my thighs. <laughs> <laughs> what, did we, what did we do, what did we do there? Did you crush hand. the tomatoes? Mm -hmm. So while they're busy playing together, shut about this guy. So I crushed up the tomatoes in my hands, kind of like bruising them and squeezing out that tomato juice in the same bowl that we marinated the bread in. Because it already had all that flour in there. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, flour. Flavor. All that flavor. flavor. And spice. I've got some basil leaves going in here. So if I can ask you, if you can just put some okay. of the peppers and the marrows down on this board over here. Give it a rough chop just to break it all up. I'm oh, going to check on our wait, bread. Wait, 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 wait. I'll just grab this cloth real quick. Our bread should be nice and toasted by now. Because I can really. smell it. So and just it chop everything up. Yeah, I'll just give it like a... a it's it's kind of very bits. rough. So we can... It's a very rustic so. salad. So keep it nice Genius. and rough. That's perfectly <laughs> fine. But I want to block you there, so that's fine. So our bread is nice and crunchy, yes. but not oh. all of it. Some of it's still quite yes. moist from that marinade that's on there. So what I want to do is I just want to tear up the bread again and start adding it oh. to our mixing bowl. Then, oh, that ah. salad is looking so oh, good. I put the cheese over okay. it, over your meat. That's yes. good. Okay. I, I, okay, I, I we like, are just killing this kitchen today. I mean, look how amazing I love this making marrows on a good old pan because they, they don't get all floppy and yeah. soggy. They, they kind of like intensify in mm. flavor Ooh. as well because like the same reason we I grilled our peppers They've got sugars in them and that's what brings out I a lot see. of the flavor when you yes. actually grill it And they don't lose all their moisture at once, right? Or quickly. So true. So I've got a little more red wine vinegar. I'm just going to pour that inside the bowl And I've got some feta. I'm going to crumble some oh, feta okay. into our salad Uh-huh. Why just do like people that. often take off the skin of the peppers? You can oh, but if you, you want to. to. You don't have to. I yeah. love skin off on, on cool. everything. I love skin on, on apples as well. I love skin on uh, um, potatoes. I love skin on sweet potatoes. I, love I don't pick skin on people. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. I mean, I must just say, your salad is looking more absolutely more. amazing. So well presented. I'm not doing that today. I'm keeping mine rustic. Vegetable oil? I know oh, when people say rustic. Rustic? I don't like rustic very much because people are just laying like, <laughs> now it's rustic and you're like, no, you did not clean your plate, actually. It's just rustic. You know, everything yeah. is rustic. No. Okay, that. Okay, so, and then, no, so, so to sensation. finish this one up, all I've done is add some baby um, spinach leaves. Hmm? We like rustic up in here, okay? We rustic. I see there we go. Rustic, uh, your, your salad is beautiful. Then we just blend that up and I'm going to add the pepper. We've got the banting versus the carving. Mm. There we go. <laughs> Salt wow. and pepper. Oh. Gorgeous. How okay. amazing this looks. Our plate landed and that one crash landed. Crash landed. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you running away oh, from me? I love you, you're too good. <laughs> How amazing is it's this? Fine. We're, we're rustic, we're this rustic, it's fine. Guess. We love it. Oh, we're so rustic and we love it. Yeah, totally. Now, don't forget about our Winner Home bi weekly competition where this time around you could win a Plascon paint voucher to the value of 5,000 Rand. Head over to privateproperty.co.za, click on the Winner Home logo logo and vote for your favorite design duo. This also automatically enters you into the draw where you stand a chance of winning the biggest prize on South African television ever, a brand new home valued at more than three million rand. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. SA's favorite interior design reality competition, Winner Home, sees three design duos transform empty spaces into lavish homes. And one of them could be yours. To enter, visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. 
put yourself in line to win amazing prizes in the bi-weekly draw and automatically be entered for a chance to win the grand prize, your choice of one of three fully designed homes in the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate in the south of Joburg. The finished property will include luxurious finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone, as well as premier home appliances by Grundig with a total prize value of more than 3 million rand. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Watch the breathtaking properties come to life as the design drama unfolds and stand a chance to win the biggest prize on South African television, your very own dream home. I mean, I actually have a fresh, inspired mind now to be able to be brilliant in the kitchen. Absolutely. You are just amazing. Oh, thank you so you're much. Phenomenal. But you made me amazing because you're such good sous chefs. Yeah. Oh, thank and you. this, thank you. I, just wanna, I just want to grab <laughs> the rice. Oh. Right, look at all that mm. oil in that oh, bread. Okay, I want. fine, I'll give bread a chance finally. Give Does bread a this, chance. But don't you think this looks like you just want to, it looks like yeah, one I of those things that it. you just want to grab it and chew on that. Tasty. And you can, yeah. Did, did you throw a lot of garlic on this bread? Because that would have been quite yummy as well. Like we did, right? There. There is garlic. Mm. But I'm smelling well, garlic, and I know it's not coming from that side. It's coming from it's the coming steak from my here. mouth, from half the oh. steak that I shoved in there. It tastes so good. So I'm going to start serving your salad. Okay. And Jean, I think actually you should have it for just like grab into yeah. just like you said you were going to do anyway. I Get said, in there. Yeah. Can wow. I dish for you first? Bon so, yes, please. Bonnie, you don't even want to look at this bread. You're oh, buying out that steak. I know, I know your know. palate. So, Lucia, can mm. we look forward to a return to the, our screens? I know you're on a reality show at the moment, a cooking one. Yes. But can we look forward to you back in acting, on the acting scene? Actually, now that you're asking, yeah. towards the end of this week, I'm going to have a very important meeting. Mm. <laughs> you know, so an next audition. Year, Ellie, some people have meetings, others have auditions. <laughs> Oh, I've had enough auditions in my life. So many auditions. I know, I know. You deserve every meeting. Mm. Cool. Best of luck. Good Thank luck. you so much. If Thank it involves you. you cooking or singing, we can guarantee you that you'll get the job. Oh, <laughs> thanks. What's but going on? So. Why are we only having the bread and then Because the Kim's oh. keeping that little salad yeah, to going on I'm the steak. Okay, okay, okay. Let's give. I love how the two go. You want to pass your plate closer? It so well together. I know. Right? Absolutely. It's the one day that I'm cheating on my no meat. Guys, Thank goodness it's not Monday. I don't know that you realize that the steak, the longer it sits, now, can you see that it's almost going to well done? Yes, it is. It's because it's rested pink. too much. Because you must make sure that it gets to the table while it's still pink. Yeah, that's, well, that's the trick, right? Yes. So as far as we're discussing food, what would you say is your signature dish? Yeah. Well, I have to say steak now that it's here in front of me. <laughs> but I also love lamb curry, in North Indian style. Ooh. Yogurt, Yummy. yogurt, cream. Oh. Like a Greek style lamb. Uh, North Indian, actually. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Greeks, they love plain yogurt. Yeah, yeah and, mm. and lamb. Oh, okay. Like a cold chili day. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy. With a glass of red wine. Then, as far as your cooking classes go, what are some of the most important basic lessons to know and remember if you're starting out in, in a kitchen? Make sure that your oil is hot, but not too hot yeah. and put your first put one onion but now I saw a nice trick once on TV yeah. this, this this lady she took a, a matchstick and put it into the oil and went <laughs> said ah now it's red oh, that's <laughs> brilliant yeah so that's what you do those, those are just basics for you to cook a good curry you must make sure that your onions are properly cooked people don't understand that onions are just so Crucial and so imp imp it's important that your onions are caramelized. Yeah, right. Okay, so I'm nice. enjoying these quick <laughs> I fire love questions. Food. Okay, I onions will embarrass you. Oh, absolutely. So if they're not properly so cooked, they'll mm. pop up at the end and yeah. be like, ah, hello. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I just don't want to see tomatoes and onions. When I eat curry, I just want to see a sauce. Wow. Yeah. 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 Okay, then I want to know what is the most important utensil to have in your kitchen? A knife. A good knife. A good, a good knife. knife, right? Okay. A really good knife. Mm. You are such a good I know. teacher. Hey? I love how I your face lights up yeah. when you talk about cooking. I, I want to go to one of your classes. If any of our viewers at home want to attend any of your cooking classes, how do they find out about them? Well, I'm on all social uh, media uh, networks. Yeah. I'm on Twitter as Chef Lucia Mtiani, and I'm on Instagram as Chef Lucia Mtiani. Yeah. What else is there? 
Facebook. Instagram. Instagram and our website. Instagram. Instagram. Will you do all your food? Be on our website I do. Well. I've got a, a page especially for food, for actually. Food. Wow. Cooking with Lucia. Oh, yes. Oh, really? <laughs> this kind no, but I think it must be so night. awesome to go to one of your classes because you're so inspiring and you love food, yes. which yes. sends such a beautiful message to me personally. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It's a pleasure, yeah. guys. I yeah. enjoyed every moment. Yeah, and we look forward to seeing you on our screens again. Oh, Absolutely. thank you so much. Oh, it's been so special. Now make sure you celebrate Women's Day tomorrow with Afternoon Express. We'll be sitting down with Africa's youngest neurosurgeon. Now her name is Dr. Nkumisa Gilata, and she is carrying the torch for African women in the medical field. Plus, there's a live performance by Afro soul artist Monweo Moshesh. Tomorrow's going to be an amazing show. Absolutely. Excited. Women's Day. Otherwise, good luck to everyone in the nation. We'll find yes. out the state of the nation a good little bit later. So, yeah, may the force be with us. <laughs> we'll be back again tomorrow on Women's Day. Until then, good night and happy eating. Cheers. <laughs>